16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Dutch. 16-bit sports. As the successor of the Sega Master System in the cause of the Bit Wars, Sega released the Sega Genesis in 1989. Fast forward about 25 years later, and now we have this. The At Game Sega Genesis. But does it live up to its older brother? Let's find out. First thing that I really love about this little console is that it's very light, small. Another thing that is uh, pretty great that I actually did not expect out of it is it plays actual Sega Genesis games. Here's Shaq Fu. If that was plugged into a TV, it would actually be playing right now. One thing that I don't like about this console, though, is these. The wireless controllers that come with it, they suck. Reason being, they work like a television remote. Let's see if I can focus that. There we go. It uses an IR sensor like a television remote, meaning that you have to have it pointed directly at the console for it to even pick it up. And if you're using two of these at the same time, not every button press is going to be registered. Luckily though, you can use an actual Sega Genesis controller on it, simply by plugging it into the front, as so. Some things that are really bad about this console, though, is it has terrible sound. It, it barely matches the actual Sega Genesis. Here's a sound comparison. Here we have an actual Sega Genesis. Now for the at game Sega Genesis. Another thing is, the plastic feels really cheap. And one of the things that bothers me most about this console is it actually does not natively play Sega Genesis games. They are emulated, uh, meaning that it's not a one-to-one -one experience as if you were to play it on an actual Sega Genesis. And here's my final verdict. If you have the option to, get an actual Sega Genesis. This at-game Sega Genesis is a... It's an okay option. If you cannot find one of these anywhere, but chances are you're going to be able to find one of these if you look hard enough. I just got two of these for free the other day. But the at game Sega Genesis right here may be an okay choice if you don't want to dosh out the money to get a bunch of games because it comes with 50 preloaded games. Over half of which though are not actually Sega Genesis games and quite frankly are really bad. But this is an okay option if you're willing to dosh out, uh, what was it again, $50. Yes, I'm not shitting you. The At Game Sega Genesis gets a solid 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review on the At Game Sega Genesis. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me.